Until recently, this unit was designated to only COVID-19 patients, but now that has been moved to a different floor, and as of today, this new ER is open to the public. The new emergency room inside the newly constructed wing of Johnson Memorial Hospital was originally set to open in January. Construction delays pushed that back to April. Then in March, COVID-19 hit. We put all our efforts into finishing that COVID unit and did it in just about a week's time. Instead of opening as the hospital's new ER, this wing opened as a dedicated coronavirus unit capable of housing up to 22 COVID-19 patients in isolation. So far, that number has peaked at seven and is now back down to three. So hospital officials spent the last several weeks moving the COVID unit to the hospital's older building. So we repurposed our former ICU space into a COVID unit. We were able to create six full isolation rooms. Then we moved our former ICU to our main medical surgical tower on our third floor. Opening the new emergency room to the public meant meticulous sterilization, including the ventilation system. When we moved the COVID patients out, we had to decontaminate. Now, it took a lot of time, you know, because they make sure the HVAC unit was totally clean and then cleaning all the rooms. It also means expanded medical services for the growing Johnson County community. We've gone from 15 beds to 26 beds. Um, we have more advanced trauma rooms with lifts to better move patients. We have a new helicopter pad. Johnson Memorial also recently partnered with Boone County Emergency Medical, a certified physicians group known for cutting down on wait times in emergency rooms. No one likes to go to the emergency room. Um, what's the biggest complaint? Whenever you touch the medical system, it's usually the length of wait. Well, I'd love to have a door to doc time of three minutes. If it's needed, the recently moved COVID-19 unit could be expanded in its current space while keeping this as the new ER. Reporting in Johnson County, Zach Myers, Fox 59 News. Zach, thank you.